Okay, thank you for coming to, uh, to my talk. I'm Yasusa Yoshida at NTT Communication Science Laboratories. Uh, my presentation title is Dependency Based Discourse Puzzle for Single Document Summarization. Uh, this is the one slide summary. Uh, our motivation is uh, very simple. Our motivation is to build a dependency based discourse puzzle to generate a high quality summary. Uh, below graph is the result. Our proposed method, red and blue part, uh, outperform their previous methods, uh, the green part, uh, which use the RST puzzle. And the purple one is the method that is the gold discourse tree, uh, which can be seen as the upper bound. And our uh, method uh, methods achieved almost the same rate score as the purple one. Okay, and first of all, uh, let's think about the conditions for good uh, summary. Good summary needs to satisfy mainly two conditions. First is informativeness, and the second is coherence. Informative, uh, informativeness means whether the summary contains the important part of the uh, original document. To generate the informative summaries, uh, several researchers formulate summarization as a combinatorial optimization problem, such as uh, uh, maximum coverage and the three NAPSA problem. And coherence is another important factor to generate a good summary because a collection of independent uh, sentences does not make a discourse. Bajre used the hidden Markov model to capture the local coherence. To capture more global discourse structure, Mount Thompson uh, proposed the rhetorical structure theory, RST. Uh, this is the, based on the tree structure. Mark proposed the method that used the RST discourse tree. In 2003, Hirawa et al. proposed a method uh, considering both informativeness and coherence. To satisfy informativeness, they, they formulate a summarization as a tree NAPSA problem. Uh, it is a kind of uh, a linear integer programming. To satisfy the, uh, coherence, they use the discourse tree. In Hirawa's method, uh, this is a dependency based uh, dependency based discourse tree, and the uh, document is represented as uh, this kind of tree. Uh, in this tree, uh, each node represents the elementary discourse units, EDU, roughly corresponds to clause or sentence. And there is an edge between each two EDU. Each edge have the, has the rhetorical level, such as the uh, elaboration or background or example. In this presentation, we call this tree as the uh, deputy T. To obtain a summary, we trim the subtree from this uh, deputy T, the blue circle part. The EDUs uh, contained in the subtree makes a summary. And this is a, a summarization result evaluated by Luge. Uh, red part used the gold uh, discourse tree and got the highest root score. Blue part used the automatically part discourse tree. And the green part does not use the discourse tree. From this result, we can find two things. First is uh, combinatorial optimization uh, plus discourse method uh, generate high quality summary. Three NAPSA problem uh, achieved the state of art performance in the single document summarization task. And second is the summary generated by gold discourse trees are better than summaries by uh, old parts discourse tree. This result implies that the quality of the summary greatly depends on the uh, accuracy of the discourse puzzle. So how can we improve the accuracy of the discourse puzzle to generate obtained high quality summary? To find a way to improve, now let's see the hero's work in detail. To obtain the deputy, they use the RST puzzle and the simple transformation algorithm. 
the system contains mainly two parts. First is a, a parser training phase. We train the RST parser using the RST discourse trees. Second is summarization phase. In this phase, the input is raw document, and the document is passed into the RST DTs using the RST parser. And we use the transformation algorithm to convert RST DTs to the DPDT. And finally, uh, we solve the three knapsack problem using that DPDT and obtain the final summary. For the RST parser, uh, we use the HLDA. Uh, it, it is the one with the state of art RST parser. This is the overview of Hero's uh, system. Here we have two ideas to improve the uh, accuracy of the discourse puzzle for summarization. In Hero's method, they obtain the deputy by converting RSTDT and discourse tree. But for the three NAPSA problem, the input is deputy. So how about obtaining the deputy uh, by more direct way? And the first idea uh, is developing the discourse puzzle that directly generates the DPDT. And second idea is embedding the characteristic of the tree knapsack problem when training our discourse puzzle. I'll talk about that characteristic later. Uh, first idea is developing the disc, uh, developing a discourse puzzle that directly generates DPDTs. Uh, this method uh, also have two phases. In the uh, puzzle training phase, we transform the RCDT into DPDT. With those DPDTs, we train a dependency-based discourse puzzle. We use MIRA as the learning algorithm. In summarization phase, uh, the input is raw document and the discourse puzzle uh, pass it into the DPDT. We use the maximum spanning tree algorithm for decoding algorithm. After obtaining the Deputy, uh, we got the summary by solving the three NAPSA problem. Notice that uh, I, our proposed method does not include the RST puzzle. Uh, we directly learn from the deputy and output to deputy, uh, direct output deputy. This is the first idea. Second is embedding the characteristic of a uh, three NAPSA problem into our learning algorithm. In trimming a subtree from the deputy, the dependency durations around the root node is important because the generated summary contains them. In contrast, the dependency relations around the leaf node uh, are less important because the generated summary does not contain them. This is the important characteristic of the tree knapsack problem, so we embedded it in the learning algorithm. Our dependency-based discourse parser is trained by Myra. Myra minimizes uh, this norm and under the, uh, this constraint. And uh, in the right-hand side of the constraint, uh, there is a loss function for the uh, goal dependency tree, y, and the predicted dependency tree, y step. We modify this loss function to embed the characteristic that the nodes around the root is more important than the nodes around the leaf node. And that this loss function reflects that. If there is a long dependency edge around the root node, the denominator uh, is small, and uh, that makes a big loss. If there is a long dependency around the leaf node, the denominator is big, and that makes a small loss. And this is the second idea of our dependency-based discourse parser. From here, I'll talk about the experimental setting. We utilize the RCDT corpus uh, for our experimental ev evaluation. The corpus consists of the uh, 385 Wall Street Journal articles uh, with RC annotation. And the 30 of the documents also have the human-made uh, reference summary. And we use these 30 documents as the test documents for the summarization evaluation. And we evaluate the remaining annotated document as the training, <coughs> uh, training data for the puzzle. Now we compare the following four systems that are different, different in the way of obtaining the deputies. 
first system is Trinapsak Gold. Trinapsak Gold used the DeepDT converted from the Gold RCDT. This system does not contain the uh, parser in training phase. We add this system to see how our systems comes close to the upper bound. Second system is Trinapsak uh, DisDep. Trinapsak DisDep is our proposed method. It used the DeepDT and automatically passed by our discourse parser. This parser is trained on uh, DeepDTs. Third system is Trinapsak DisDep loss. Uh, this is the second our proposed method. It is based on the Trinapsak uh, DisDep. Its loss function is modified from the Trinapsak DisDep to reflect the depth, of, depth information uh, of the nodes. Last system is Trinapsak HILDA. Trinapsak HILDA is compiling system. HILDA uh, is the one of the state of art RST parser. In this system, RST parser is trained on RCDT. And when making a summary, a document is passed into the RCDTs and converted to the DeepDTs in a simple transformation rule. And this is the uh, summarization evaluation result. We employ the decor of rules one and two as the evaluation measure. We can see the proposed method outperform the uh, three naps of HIDA and achieved almost the same root score as the uh, as, uh, three naps of gold. We analyze the differences between proposed system and three naps of HIDA. First, we evaluated the dependency accuracy. Our proposed method outperform HRDA. Uh, we evaluated uh, total uh, accuracy and uh, intra sentence accuracy and inter sentence accuracy. And uh, our methods outperform in the especially intra sentence dependency setting. For the RST puzzle, it needs to correct, uh, predict correctly uh, several non terminal spans uh, to predict uh, long dependency. Uh, relation. A document sometimes contains several hundreds of ADUs, so our uh, proposed dependency method is suitable uh, to predict a long distance relation because it directly uh, predicts uh, edges. Second, we evaluate the uh, uh, root accuracy, the rate a uh, puzzle can find the root of the DeepDTs. Since a root, uh, root of the gold DeepDT, is most salient in salient EDUs in a document, so it should be included in a summary. This result shows that our method succeeded to ex extract the root of the deputy uh, with a high accuracy. Third, we evaluated the average dependency accuracy in summary, DAS. Uh, DAS measures the rate of the correct parent-child relationship in a set of the uh, EDUs contained in, a, contained in the summary. And the high DAS score means that generated summary is it have, a, have the high coherence. The result demonstrates that the summaries generated by our systems are prone to preserve the upper level dependency uh, relationships between the EDUs within the gold DPDT. The summaries generated by our methods are more coherent than the summaries generated by three NAPSAC HIDA. I summarize my presentation. Our motivation is to build a dependency-based discourse puzzle for single document summarization, and we propose it. The, our puzzle directly runs from the dependency durations. Our puzzle uh, is also embedded the characteristic of three NAPSAC problem when training our puzzle and we achieved the state of art performance in a single documentation task. And the summaries uh, generated by our method uh, contains the most EDU summaries with a high probability and generate more coherent summaries than the previous method. Okay, that's it, thank you. Thank you.
first question is um, the uh, yes. At one moment, you, yes, you're, you're using or you're trying to avoid you're going through an NP hard problem, the uh, tree knapsack. How important is it to um, to solve that problem? Uh, or are you are you just trying to avoid the problem entirely? Yeah, it and uh, tree knapsack program is formulated as the linear integer programming. Yeah. So we use the uh, Groovy to prom, uh, solve that uh, that problem. It uh, it doesn't does not take much time. Okay, so, so that's not the bottleneck. That's not the bottleneck. Hmm? That is not the, the, the problem that, well, the, one of the problems you have isn't there. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, no, no. Uh, Just, uh, mm, do. Computation time is not going to be an issue. Uh, no, uh, yeah, yeah. That the uh, decoding algorithm for yeah. the summarization is, uh, is same for these four systems. The uh, difference is uh, the, it is only de dependency three. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Right. Questions? So perhaps I'll have a more general question. If I look at the two talks, the previous talk and your talk, in one case it's sentence compression, in this it's text summarization. What have you got to learn from the other task? Or are they, in your view, completely independent tasks? Uh, so you mean, so maybe we can incorporate the uh, sen sentence compression method? I don't know. I mean, basically, in both cases, you're starting, to, well, you, you have got some type of compression. You've also got trees. They are not at all the same trees. But are, they, are you taking it as two completely separate tasks? Or are they algorithmic ideas? Or are they ideas that you can find on one side and reuse in the other? Mm. Very different? Maybe not. OK. okay. No one else? OK, well, thanks a lot. Thank you.